Hi, welcome. Susan here from Vibrant Growth Arts. I want to share with you my first week of working in my new 365 day journal. It's called the Naturalist's Notebook. And I've begun here with January taking leaf prints from plants that are growing on my property where I live in Springfield, Tennessee, that right now are green. And I am also noting which birds I see in the backyard primarily at our, at our bird feeders. I'm adding some vintage images, decorative papers, just whatever coordinates. I'm identifying the plants and writing down their uses. The reason why I've decided to do this journal daily is to get myself to get to know my property better. Uh, my husband and I moved here a little, a little less than two years ago, and it's a totally different environment from what we're used to. We used to live in Connecticut. It's a way to get familiar with the plants that are here. It's also a way for me to get outside while it's winter and there's really not much to do out there besides go for a walk. And so it's, it's a nice way to count the days. I know that before long, there'll be so much more to be adding to this journal uh, what's starting to bloom, when certain butterflies start to appear, cre uh, other creatures. And so, so far this has been, it's been enjoyable, but it's also been, mm, for me, a little difficult. Only eight days into it, just because it's so consistent, which for me, I think that's a good discipline. I always want something that's new and new and new. And yet, so this is helping me to appreciate rather than hurrying up and waiting for, you know, wanting the winter to hurry up so that spring can come. Uh, this is a way to go at a slower pace and to really appreciate what is around me right now. So that is, it's also a contemplative process in that manner. I wrote a quote here. If you want inner peace, find it in solitude, not speed. And if you would like, and if you would find yourself, look to the land from which you came and to which you go. That's by Stuart Udall. And so my idea is to share just very quickly each week the pages that I create and as you follow along you'll be able to see the progress of the season as it is being displayed here in my journal. Then at the end I'll talk about more how I constructed the book and about how I'm going to bind it all together at the end of the year but that is such a long time from now. Okay, thanks for watching. And if you're interested in this project, please do subscribe. And I'd really appreciate it if you like this video, just so I know, and comment as well. I'd appreciate that a lot. Thank you.